This is the Midland Pullman, one of the expresses that is helping to give the railways their new image. It's powered by two 1,000 horsepower engines and does the London to Manchester run through Derbyshire in three hours, 10 minutes. Many is the housewife living near a loco depot, this one's a chalk farm incidentally, who has views on the changeover from the smoke age. You miserable engine, she scolded. Just look what you've done to our bushing. Here at Carlisle are the mothballed ironclads of yesterday. Their fires drawn forever. A fate worse than shunting awaits them, for each represents more than a hundred tons of scrap when the yards can get round to dealing with it. But progress too has its bright side. It's not only steam that's going, but smoke and soot grime stations. With the emphasis on high-speed non-stop services between cities, the railmen are moving into the world of the image makers. They talk of fast trains, smooth trains, trains that run to time. It's possible now to ride in trains and keep your clothes clean. And away to the sidings go the old carriages whose day is done. With their higher average speeds and faster acceleration, the diesels are helping the railways win a new reputation for being 10 to 15 minutes late, and more and more passengers are getting used to the idea of playing with Venetian blinds. The old semaphore system is replacing coloured lights that beam through fog and falling snow. There's another safety device for the driver, an automatic warning system. If the distance signal shows clear, the brakes go on automatically. If it's a caution, a bell sounds in the cab. Early one morning, a large policeman was talking to the flying Scotsman. You're too expensive, said the policeman. I'm sending you to the scrapyard. That'll be the end of the line for the flying Scotsman.